Hi, I'm Jennifer from Shabby Fabrics. Today I have a fun and practical gift. You're going to be the hit of the next baby shower. I know when I had my babies, there was all that spit up and all of that, and I would have loved to have had these flannel burp cloths just so that, you know, it's they wear like iron and it's so easy to make. These are from the Welcome Home Flannel Collection designed right here at Shabby Fabrics and printed by Maywood Studio. It's beautiful flannel, um, high quality flannel. It doesn't pill up when you wash it in the sewing machine and goodness knows these are going to be washed. Um, so one, one thing you want to do is go ahead and go to our homepage. At the very bottom there's a link that says free downloads. Click on that. You're looking for the flannel burp cloth and go ahead and print the diagram. It's I think a two or three, three page diagram and you'll tape it together just putting the arrows together and cut out on the drawn black line. Now this is a fat quarter friendly project which is great. We have lots of fat quarter sets available for shabby fabrics at shabby fabrics. Of course flannel is just so cozy and it, especially up here in North Idaho we like the flannel. Of course, you could do the same thing with just regular cotton as well. There's nothing unique about the flannel. We just chose that today. Um, you, whichever, pro, uh, whichever fabrics you use, you'll cut out three layers. One's for the top, one for the back, and in the middle you use a fusible batting or a fusible fleece as you prefer. And we've cut that out ahead of time. And we went ahead and fused the fusible fleece is what we used in this in this one to whichever uh pick one of the sides it really doesn't matter um lay these right sides together as you would expect let me just show you it's going to be a lot simpler for you're seeing this we use pink thread just so you could see it um you're just going to stack them up on top of each other reinforce sewing a quarter of an inch around and stop and, and reinforce and then we're simply going to turn that through. Now you could do a couple things just because flannel's a little bulky. We went ahead and trimmed that seam allowance down a little bit. You can certainly do that or maybe use some peaking shears to reduce a little bit of the bulk around the edge as well. And then get your turning tool, which I love this little tool, just a couple four or five dollar tool. And I tell you, I use that tool so often just because when I am turning things through, I want things to turn nice and smooth and not be lumpy. So once we get this turned through, I like to use that turning tool just to get everything to lie as completely as smooth as possible. Okay, so I typically go in there with my hand smoothing everything out as best I can, but that's when this is just so handy to get in those little corners because it's got that little Point. There you go. And it just turns it so nice and smooth. So obviously we'll go, you'd go all the way around and get this all nice and smooth. And then once you have that turned through, we wanted to go ahead and you can, I don't know if you can see the quilting in here, because right now they're not attached. Just go ahead and grab a friction pen in whichever color you want, red or black, doesn't matter. Um, because it will erase with heat. And we just, let me, so that you can see it. We just kind of started, we just drew a line. Might even want to use black, in fact, so I can see it better against the pink. That's why it's nice to have a friction pen in various colors. I think right now we have black, um, red, maybe even blue right now. So I just get them all, I use them all the time. And I think we did a two inch grid, let's see what we did. Yes, and then you're just gonna come over two inches and draw and you're just going to keep going of course um, and you're going to do the same thing over on the other side and draw this grid now before you take that to the sewing machine remember you have an opening here we simply turned that under a, quor a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch and you can even put a little pin in there if you want to for now what we did is we went ahead and did the top quilting or we did this quilting and then we went ahead and closed that opening. You don't have to do any hand stitching, which I love. I really don't like whip stitching. Openings closed. I like to sew them down because then they're really down. And like I said, this is going to be washed. So you really want to use a good quality thread. Masterpiece thread is what we use here at Shabby Fabrics. That's a 50 weight Egyptian cotton, 100% cotton. It's a long staple. Um, you're just going to sew an eighth inch all the way around and finish up your burp cloth. So that's all there is to making the flannel burp cloth with shabby fabrics.